All right, so at the heart of the reading, I have the Eight of Cups in the reverse position, crossed by the Page of Wands, okay? The Page of Wands indicates, in general, um, news communication, especially when it comes to uh, projects and love communications. Um, there is a situation here in which you're not, um, or I feel like you might be reverting back to some situation from the past, or you're trying to resolve some situation from the past because the past energy is sending in this communication to you. So a lot of you might be in dealing with a fire sign. Fire signs are Leo, um, Sagittarius, and Aries. Okay, so a lot of you might have a fire sign in your midst who is a little bit assertive, who is very like um, vivacious and just um, fun loving. So this is a very light, airy energy. They're sending you communication. So a lot of you might be responding or might be wanting to, you know, dabble in this situation with this uh, fire sign. I do feel, however, a lot of you have entanglements with the past in which emotionally you have definitely moved on. But for some reason, there are still entanglements, lingering attachments, possibly like for those of you who are going through a divorce situation, the divorce itself hasn't finalized yet or it has and there's still assets that need to that needed to be divvied up between the two of you. So as a result, you can't really make a clean break, even though emotionally you have already checked out and you have already severed ties with the past. Because in the past position, we have the devil in the reverse position, which indicates, you know, kicking um, old habits, leaving the past behind or um, disentangling yourself from unhealthy situation. So in the past position at, with the devil, it seems as if a lot of you have gotten out of toxic relationships. You're now forging ahead. You are dating again for a lot of you. You are getting a lot of communication from potential love interests. What's crowning you here is the Ace of Cups. Now, it's really interesting because um, for the past few weeks when I did the weekly reading, a lot of Piscean people have commented that, you know, why can't we get the Lovers and the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups? Well, here you go. You have the Ace of Cups crowning your reading, which is wanting a new start for yourself. A new love interest is in the picture, and a lot of you are seeing potential int um, prospects or, you know, at least potential for stability for long-term commitment with this new person. Um, I'm going to see here that um, the new person is somebody who is like, you're dating outside of your norm, you're dating your, uh, outside of your comfort level, okay? So you're in a brand new ballpark and the people that are coming in are very like, um, the energy is very light, very airy, and it's, it's fun. It's not a relationship that's toxic. It's not a relationship that's codependent or even, you know, where there's a lot of emotional baggage. You're turning a new chapter in your life or you're starting a new chapter and you are approaching this situation with a little bit more balance, all right? In terms of what's in your environment that you're not aware of here, we have the High Priestess in the upright position, which is a very, very good card. It indicates to me the whole unveiling process, the whole getting to know one another, the whole, you know, looking at things objectively rather than through rose-colored glasses and assessing your relationship partner's true potential before you invest, okay? This is sort of like waiting for the other party to show their cards before you show yours not out of, um, you know, like um, selfishness or anything like that, but it's sort of like you were burned in the past when it comes to rushing into situation, trusting somebody um, a little bit too much before they prove themselves to be worthy of your trust, okay? Trust is earned, it's not automatically given. So you're approaching relationships in general with a lot more of um, objectivity, with a lot more discernment. In terms of what's coming in for you very, very soon in the future, I do have the Two of Swords, which indicates to me a decision time, okay? This is some something that you're still trying to figure out, but I do feel that with the Ace of Cups, there is um, that balancing act is quickly coming to an end, and you're going to be making a, a decision sometime this week when it comes to love relationships. And I do sense you have all the information you need now to fully and accurately assess somebody's worth. A lot of you have a fire sign in your midst that you have recently. Um, this could be somebody coming back in from the past, sending you messages. 
And this is somebody that you might potentially reconnect, rekindle with for this week, okay? So that decision is going to be, you know, made sometime this week. In terms, well, for the next two weeks, because this is going to extend past two weeks, the last two weeks of August. So excuse me about that. Um, <clears throat> in terms of your advice, we do have the Nine of Swords in the reverse position. So those sleepless nights, those uh, troublesome thoughts, those um, lingering attachments, or even like having a lot of concerns about people from your past, like even though emotionally you've already checked out of the relationship, you might be wondering what somebody is up to. You might be wondering if they're okay, if physically, emotionally, they're okay to, uh, they're able to, you know, pick up the pieces and move on with their lives. You, I feel like pretty much a lot of you have moved on and a lot of you have started a new phase in your life. And um, because of it, you're feeling quite happy. You're feeling like um, pretty ecstatic. You're probably approaching a new love situation with a lot of um, potential, okay? And because of it, you might be concerned about whoever it is that you've had entanglements with in the past and you want to make sure that emotionally they're okay. I do feel this situation is going to um, be, it, I feel that the person from your past has already moved on as well, so you don't have to worry as much at the same time. Life is looking up for a lot of you. There's a lot of communication, a lot of exchanges and messages in love, communication coming through, and in general, um, wishes are being fulfilled. So I do feel like um, externally, external to you the other person has also moved on we have the tower in the reverse position so um the separation was something that really did hit them from the left field they didn't really anticipate it but they're picking up the pieces and they are starting to move on as well and um i mentioned earlier there might be entanglements there might be like you know assets children things needed to be divvied up in order to sever ties completely okay and this is um this card is indicative of that because in your hopes and fears we have the three of pentacles in the reverse position, so it's sort of like um, financial entanglements, especially and financial resources assets needed to be um, I would say like they needed to be liquidated they needed to be somehow you know there there is um this card I usually associated with two people working together not in a romantic way, but mainly in a business sense with the advice of either a mentor, a lawyer, seeking outside counsel in order to divide up all assets equally, okay? So this is divvying up assets. And um, so when you get it in the upright position, I do feel it's like joint assets being, um, being like um, incorporated. However, in the reverse position, I do feel it's like a dissolution where, you know, everyone is taking their fair share and um, they're seeking counsel in order to divide up the pie evenly and everyone gets their fair share of um, whatever um, financial resources needed to be divided up, okay? So it's looking favorable here. Um, so for the last two weeks of this month, I do feel that is going to be on the front burner. At the same time, you're going through a period where you feel quite good about yourself so no matter like whatever legal issues is coming through I do feel it is going to end up in your favor um, I do feel here when we have the outcome position um, I have the hero font in the reverse position as well as the eight of wands the eight of wands traditionally indicates travel and it also indicates swift communication okay there's some lull there's some stalled communication coming through and as a result um, what is causing the stall communication is mainly, you know, red tape, bureaucratic, like paperwork, things that needed to be wrapped up in a very, like, um, in a very institutionalized type of setting. So what I mean by this is, um, you know, you can like physically or even emotionally walk away from like a marriage, for example, but there's still paperwork. There's still that, that house that needed to be, you know, um, sold on the market. There's still like that appraiser that needs to come in into the picture to assess the value of the house. And you can't really let go unless you have like a price for everything so that things can be divided up equally. So there is going to be stall communication. You want the situation to be finalized as fast as possible. Uh, as soon as possible so that you can like sever old ties and just move on with your life but i do feel stall communication in this regard mainly because all of these bureaucratic steps needed to be 
uh, finish in a certain um, in a timely manner and at the same time it's like um, unnecessary red tapes that needed to be navigated in order to finalize everything okay and um, for a lot of you it is mainly just legal paperwork regarding the marriage situation the you know getting the divorce papers and for others it might be like the physical dwelling like the house situation and as a result I do sense that things are going to end well and I do feel in a period of like a month even as early as um, you know the beginning of September or so it's actually a very good time for you to get this squared away and I do feel a resolution like a, a final closure is going to come into this situation by the end of um, by the end of September which is good because um, the September period until early October until like mid October is going to be Mercury in retrograde so if you are doing this now I do feel it is going to be favorable for you on a side note um, this is another message coming through for those of you who are starting new relationships okay especially like rekindling things with with, um, with somebody from your past I do feel there is an opportunity here to um, to have a very very stable relationship in the future okay um, you are a water sign so for those of you who might be dealing with like a fire sign or just somebody who's very spirited who's very different from you culturally ethnically linguistically there is a sense of um, um, complementarity so it's two separate entities very very different entities coming together so there are going to be down, further down the line for those of you who are dating and you're looking at this person and trying to gauge their you know prospects as a, a new marriage partner I do feel with the Hierophant in the reverse position um, there might be cultural differences such as you know religious upbringing child rearing practices or something like that which uh, need to be discussed or which needed to be discussed or even like um, it needs to be compromised on because one side is not relenting okay and I do feel that this is a card of tradition, it's a card of institutions. So for example, a lot of you might also, I do feel like a swift wedding is coming into the card. So a lot of you might elope instead of, you know, having a traditional type of marriage, or a lot of you might not get the consent of the family, but you feel very strongly with, um, you know, you're, you're very like much in love indicated by the ace of cups here so you feel that you feel overwhelmed by the love so you feel like you need a way to express this so it might come out as a civil union rather than um, having a traditional marriage in which you're blessed by you know both households there's nothing wrong with that I do feel like you know do whatever fits um, do whatever you feel is appropriate okay and marriage honestly it is between two people um, incorporating your family into it is always great but if there are disagreements between family members and things like that it is best to do whatever you feel is appropriate to your situation but again don't rush into it I don't feel a lot of you are going to rush into it let me just see here yeah I don't feel this is something that is um, happening out of the blue this is a, a rekindling or a revival of a relationship and you feel quite good about it you understand one another innately there's a very strong almost like a psychic link between the two of you in which you know you can like telepathically understand one another on a very deep profound level so I don't feel there's any dangers associated with it it's just um, a lot of compromises need to be had mainly because you're from different uh, upbringing like culturally and things like that all right so it is looking to be a very very romantic a very good week and I know a lot of you were wondering you know what happened to the ace of cups and things like that well things for Pisces are definitely picking up and um, it's actually interesting here because um, Pisces is the opposite sign in the zodiac from Virgo um, Jupiter has just entered Virgo so on the 11th and things are going to like um, pick up for Virgo signs which is in opposition from you but I do feel that the energy here is is very stable it's very stable for long-term committed relationships as well so for those of you who are thinking about that just um, I do feel you're coming through with a lot more information at least you feel very love and you feel the relationship itself is very balanced you also understand as well that um, 
you also understand that um, there is you're starting to see one another clearly okay another situation in which this can happen here is um, I would strongly advise you as well for those of you who might be you know you know who you are if you're in a relationship where you are um, getting to know somebody this is like a new person and they have been very very flaky okay so if you know somebody who's new and they've been very very flaky with you in the past just um, be honest with yourself and also you know have an honest assessment of the where that relationship is really headed 